October the 9th, 2019. Guys, two things we're watching. In the video last night, we were talking about the blackouts in California, and that started happening last night. Now, today, they are talking about more and more areas uh, getting their power cut due to winds increasing. What you're looking at, um, I'm not going to play it because the copyrights are getting really, really tough here, guys, but K-R-O-N in your area. They have an online app that's 24-7 updates, but it's behind a paywall. But now they um, have taken the paywall down for this emergency, again, K-R-O-N. And what they're talking about here, massive PG&E uh, PG blackouts in the Sacramento area. It's kind of, they're going to be stepping this thing forward and more and more people. Some reports now over a million may be affected for a few days and uh, gas lines and you know, the typical problems when um, you see an, a disaster coming, whether it's a hurricane or a blackout for this many hours. Normally, if you have a blackout, guys, it's for part of the day or something like that. But in a situation like this, uh, your, your refrigerators are not going to be able to handle uh, keeping everything cool, your deep freezers either. Just keep them closed to them uh, unless you absolutely have to get in there. And if you still have power, freeze extra water and put it into the deep freezers or your refrigerators because that will keep them colder longer. Okay, that stacked up ice, it will really make a difference. There's a lot of things you need to do, and they're talking about it here on KRON. As there's uh, people having trouble this morning when they woke up, and uh, had to get ready in the dark and then drive through some of the tunnels in the dark and down the mountains and without any street lights and you get down into the valley and the red lights aren't working and so just kind of a chaotic aff affair now we'll see how this works out uh, pg and e again is um they have just been caught up in some major court battles where the fires were blamed on them I guess for not, um, for whatever equipment and not keeping the, the right of ways clear of debris. We'll see. But what they've done now is just, uh, let you people in California know they are in control of your life. If you want to sue us, fine. We're not going to go through this again. Maybe they can't afford it. There's a lot of things going on in California with money, really in every state, if you don't watch it. Also, the other thing in the midwest let's take a look at it and guys i don't want to leave out our friends in the northeast i did a video warning about the system coming up here and setting for two or three days now you got a lot of uh, offshore watches and warnings and you're going to get some coastal rain to areas that need it possibly but watch for excessive uh, weather we'll do an update on this storm but guys you just pay attention to your weather off the east coast now this high pressure area here and one right here are creating this effect that's coming through California. Again, look at the wind gust at 52 miles per hour now. This will increase as the day goes goes forward. Also, what's happening, we zoom up to the uh, Midwest. All of this is coming together in this area, guys. That that's not good. You're, this is where you're going to see, at least for the month of October, uh, a record blizzard coming through uh the central part of the U.S. Let's take a look at some of those uh, warnings and watches. This is AccuWeather, and they're calling for a historic all-out blizzard to bear a huge swath of central U.S., unleashing punishing cold blast. Guys, they're talking about 60-degree drops in temperature from the 80s to the 20s in a short period of time over a large area. Wild temperature swings, gusty winds, heavy snow, blizzard conditions. AccuWeather Chief Broadcast Meteorologist discusses all of that and where the storm is going to erupt into this all-out blizzard. An unusually far-reaching snowstorm for early October will stall, strengthen, and evolve into an all-out blizzard over the Dakotas and will send a blast of cold air across much of the plains in the Midwest. Grand Solar Minimum. The winters will become brutal. Now, guys, uh, here in central Mississippi, Friday evening, this front's going to come through our area, and we're going to see about a 20-degree drop. We're going to see some thunderstorms, and then going into Friday night and Saturday, we'll be 
it will be 80s as the rain comes in, and then Saturday it will be 60s. Now that's 20 degree drop. That's not bad at all. But what is going to be happening up in the Midwest again could be brutal. Heavy snow has already fallen on the northern Rockies and was progressing southeastward along with a charge of cold air. Snow and slippery travel were also being reported in parts of Washington State, including around Spokane where new daily snowfall record for October 8th was set. Spokane International Airport recorded 3.3 inches of snow Tuesday, shattering the previous record for this day, uh, which was a trace set in 1981. Here's your map, guys. Uh, you can see these is through. This is tonight, and it will be going into tomorrow. But windy snow. Look down there along Denver. You're gonna have a mix of from there up through Bismarck, uh, Minneapolis. Then when you get below that point, that's that group of thunderstorms. We're in the green south of Omaha, guys. That we're gonna feel here Friday night uh, before the weekend comes in. We're gonna get the thunderstorms in the much cooler air. Now, this could be deadly. Following a high in the lower 80s on Wednesday, today, people in Denver will be in for a shock as temperatures are forecast to be 60 degrees lower with their first accumulating snow of the season by Thursday. The snow and cold air will continue to advance eastward on Thursday. Now, if you look at the map, you can see as everything moves uh, from left to right or to the east. It's leaving behind this area right here in the light blue. It says very cold. Uh, so after the blizzard comes through, guys, it's going to be a seasonal change. It may hang in there for quite a while. By the end of the day, snow and winds will be increasing from much of North Dakota to central and western South Dakota and western Nebraska while snow begins to mix in with rain in eastern North Dakota and northwestern Minnesota. You guys pay attention, and you, as the map moves into Friday, you can see you still got rain, snow, and sleet up above Rapid City. And But into Minneapolis, you've got thunderstorms that moves all the way to the south, guys, and those are the ones that will affect us. And uh, going into the weekend, it's just going to continue moving eastward. And we already have problems on the east coast with that tropical or subtropical system. It says as temperatures plummet and wind and the snow take the heat from paved and concrete surfaces, roads will become slushy and snow covered. Winds will continue to increase into Friday, and blowing and drifting snow will create blizzard conditions with dangerous travel. Some roads may close. Guys, we've talked about this for years, and folks to be more prepared in the winter for uh, being trapped in uh, where your roads are unpassable. You don't have that much food or water on hand. Those can become life-threatening but the main thing is heat you don't want to freeze to death you got to have water you got to have food but make sure that you have some backup heat when you have blizzard conditions that means high winds and power outages right now you guys in the north this is another drill for you it's going to be tough and it's going to be a early beginning to the next few winters now let's go back to Wednesday just a moment. In this dark blue area, these are blizzard conditions tonight, okay, through Saturday a.m. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday morning. Strong winds, blowing drifting snow, whiteouts, dangerous travel, significant harvest impact. Guys, we talked about this all summer around the world with the you either have floods or droughts. Or, in some cases, hurricanes destroying crops like we saw in the Bahamas. Winds from the northwest are expected to average 15 to 30 miles an hour with frequent gusts past 40 miles per hour over the northern and central plains. An AccuWeather storm ma max for wind gust of 60 miles per hour is anticipated over the Dakotas. Real field temps will plummet into the single digits and teens in Fahrenheit and the snow areas. So, guys, if you know people that are traveling in this area, especially if they're not used to these conditions, contact them. Very cold Thursday, frostbite and hypothermia risk bring pets indoors. In addition to slippery travel and local dangerous conditions and highways through the Rockies, travel along portions of Interstate 29, 80, 
90 and 94 will be difficult, dangerous, and perhaps in some cases impossible at the height of the storm. This is where trouble really gets in, uh, sets in for travelers. Again, if you've got people traveling from the west coast to the east coast through this area or anywhere that are not familiar with these conditions, please get in touch with them. And it would be much better to hold up in a hotel, even if the power goes out, than to be trapped in a car. So don't take any chances, guys. We're watching this. It's a heads up. Be safe.